hey guys it's rob Sipak with paperless student in today's video i will be showing you guys how i create hyperlinks in pdf expert 6. if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business and if you're already subscribed make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when i release a new video I use PDF Expert 6 to create hyperlinks for notes that I sell. So if you're interested in my final study notes, you can head over to Patreon. And if you enjoy my videos and you'd like to show your support and motivate me to keep making these videos, consider supporting me on Patreon as well. I will put a link in the description down below. For this video, I was curious to know the difference between PDF Expert and Document 6 because they seem to have the same functions if you have the full paid version of PDF Expert six so i really wanted to know what would be the difference between what you can do in document six when you have pdf expert six but the way you do this is exactly the same in both applications during the video i will explain to you the differences that i found using the different applications so in this particular video even though i said in pdf expert six i am using document six i hope that makes sense this can only work in document six if you have the full paid version of pdf expert six i hope that makes sense now i am opening notability where i just finished compiling my final study notes for yet another topic these are the notes i will be creating hyperlinks for I'm exporting the notes to document six. And here they are. First order of business when I get into PDF expert or documents is that I turn the pages. This is a function that is not available in Notability. And then I create a new page, which will be my contents page. And I need this to be in portrait mode. I am using my iPad Pro 2015 to go through these notes in Notability while I'm creating the contents page. And this helps me to know which sections I covered and I just highlight them on this contents page. To create my contents page, I tap edit to start editing this PDF file. And so I tap the text icon to start typing. I am customizing my text a little bit to make sure that it looks how I want it to. So my contents page includes the topic as the main heading and then I add some sections that I covered in the notes as I've already explained. And the whole idea is to give you a glance at what to expect from the notes without needing to scroll through everything.
Once I had finished creating the contents, I just arranged it to look presentable and neat. And after that, I was ready to create my hyperlinks. So to create a hyperlink, tap on the hyperlink icon here and then draw the hyperlink over the section you want hyperlinked. Once I've selected the section, I tap on the side, then tap on the green section to pick my landing page. I always go to the page at least once to make sure that the hyperlinks are working. So now I'm just going to be creating hyperlinks for the contents page. Generally, my experience doing this in document six wasn't as smooth as it is when I'm, use when I'm doing this in PDF Expert six. So I suggest if you have to choose between the two applications, since you have both already, it is better to do this in PDF Expert six. It's just smoother and it doesn't waste as much time as document six does. Now that all my hyperlinks have been added, I wanted to add a hyperlink on each page that will take me back to the contents page. Copying and pasting was a bit difficult to do and a bit complicated to do in document 6. I honestly didn't enjoy doing this, it was a headache. So I actually ended up doing this in PDF Expert 6. And if you're interested in purchasing my final study notes, head over to my Patreon page for more details. I hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.